Find out what's going on. Get involved. Change things from the inside. Make a difference. Take pride. Multicultural at its best. The Louisa Marshall Show. Coming up. All new Simply the Best. Celebrating Filipino food. Flavors of the Philippines. The in-store promotion program is a joint collaboration between the Philippine Consulate General in Vancouver and Toronto and the Department of Tourism to increase consumer level awareness to promote Philippine food products and to promote Philippine tourism. Importers and distributors that would bring these products into Canada and get them into the supermarkets and the stores. BC Minister of Trade Honorable George Chow, Consul General Neil Ferrer, graced the formal opening of the event. Good morning, uh, Marbuhai. They're bringing new products, uh, uh, introducing new products to the... Watch the super highlights featuring cultural performances, cooking demonstrations, and interviews. I've learned a little bit of Tagalog, um, so I'm, I'm trying to act very muggling. I don't know if it's working. You know, breakfast, lunch, dinner. And of course, I cook eggs, but, uh, but uh, I can cook adobo and I can... All these, coming up. Today is all about Filipino food. We are sharing the highlights of the formal opening of the flavors of the Philippines. Brace yourselves. We are taking you all inside Price Mart in Richmond for a taste of Filipino food. Please watch. As a company, uh, we're trying to expand on the international experience for us. And a big part of that international experience is helping the Filipino communities get the products and services that they want inside here. So it's really more than just having those products, but it's connecting with the, the community, connecting with the culture, and helping people feel like they've got a sense of home. And you do that through, one of them is bringing those products that you have at home and having them inside our stores. And it's not just one store, it's a getting into as many stores inside our company as we possibly can. So we want to really be actively involved with the Filipino community here. Not only in BC, but uh, we're all over Western Canada. We've got a large Filipino um, presence in one of our stores in, in Winnipeg in Northgate which uh, we're working really really hard to um, bring those products and services that the folks there uh, want. I've learned a little bit of Tagalog, 
So I'm, I'm trying to act very muggling. I don't know if it's working. Have you tried any Filipino food so far? Yes, I have. I've tried. Uh, so I'm, and, and this may not be emblematic of all, but I, I've uh, developed a, um, a, a fondness for Jolly Bee and Blue Ribbon. Jolly the Jolly Bee. <laughs> oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> So um, no, and, and when we uh, we get some of our, uh, our vendor partners come in, I've been able to sample lots of different type of Filipino products. So looking forward to trying out some of the great products we got here today too. you came over to experience our festivities today. This is wonderful. How important is it for, for us Filipinos to promote our very own products? I think it's very important because Filipino products are still not so well known in the market despite the fact that uh, we have such a big population in this country and especially in this uh, uh, region of British Columbia. Uh, we're the third biggest immigrant population as of late, uh, but our products have really not surfaced as much as we would want them to. This is um, a staple. Um, it's a coconut uh, pan de manila, very, very famous brand in that's the Philippines. My, that's it's my favorite. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not going to lose weight anymore if I eat and, that. Uh, and of course, and uh, Steve's favorite. <laughs> The calamansi, uh, wow, the flavor profile of this Philippine lime is superb. And, uh, oh my goodness. Sardinas. Oh my goodness. Sardines. Steve's, <laughs> Steve's favorite. Yeah. Morning. No, I'm not, I'm not lunch, kidding. You know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, tops. <laughs> wow. It's so easy to cook, you know, if you're busy, you just put a little water, it's flavored the best that's it that's it that's it and and uh, can, I, can I also um, have you look at some of the new products oh that we want to uh, bring beef. to the market I like that oh that's corned oh beef <laughs> and having some tastes <laughs> wow. of corned beef 
there. There are different types. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And these are the new products of um, our exporters. They are small and medium enterprises from different parts of the country. And uh, they're bringing these products into Canada. Uh, they're joining an international trade show in Montreal called Cial. It's, it's French. Uh, it's a French uh, franchise for an uh, international trade show. And these products will be featured here. So uh, they're trying to... Uh, they're meeting with buyers, um, importers and distributors that would bring these products into Canada and get them into the supermarkets and the stores. So you have here, um, these are just samples, but uh, cider, coconut vinegar, and there's uh, the spicy and uh, the vinegar sap, the traditional one. Um, you have uh, crispy delis, oh, wow. Wow. wow, crispy squid. <laughs> banana chips, noix de coco, uh, this is amino, it's actually a soy sauce but not coming from soy but from co coconut and of course we have wow money, you know, uh, garlicky uh, peanuts, garlicky cashew, uh, our mango juice and these are some of our natural um, uh, products, uh, health like uh, ginger tea, turmeric ginger, salabat and so on. So uh, yeah, so that's. Uh, are, are these all available here right now? Not yet. Not oh, yet. They're, they're come selling. On. <laughs> they're selling to the importers, and the importers would buy them and distribute them. So hopefully within the next three months. What? Yeah. Filipinos yeah. can't wait that long. More flavors of the Philippines coming up. Don't go away. A lot of other products are scattered uh, all within you. all over the store. There, we have the we have tagged them, yeah. but uh, you know they can't all be accommodated here uh, up front. So we have cooking demonstrations, as you have seen. You know, like Mama Sita has. Mm. There's tasting for uh, Filipino ice cream with traditional flavors as uh, ube yeah. and uh, and mango. Uh, very the soon, we hope to have makapuno. You know, the real makapuno. Yeah, no, I like the real makapuno. Oh, that's one of my favorites. But they have makapuno ice cream here and the ube ice cream. I see it. Oh, I love those. I love those ice cream. I don't eat much ice cream, but with ube and makapuno and dalangka, I eat it. Oh, wow. Yeah, my favorite too. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you have to put it in the halo halo too. That's going to be awesome. Uh, more Filipino products are coming to Canada. So, raise yourselves. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah, food Philippines. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. That's very good. You're you're a pro. Oh. Nice to see you again. Very happy to see you again, uh, Luisa and Steve. Yeah. Good morning. Magandang umaga. Magandang umaga. How important is it for us to to really promote our very own products? Uh, well, it's very important uh, because for one, uh, we have a growing uh, community here uh, in Canada and specifically here in uh, in BC in Vancouver. 
So uh, it's uh, uh, our kababayans are looking for products that they get back home. So uh, and uh, this is one way to uh, uh, to let them know that yes, it's available here. Uh, but more than that, we wanted to reach out to a bigger uh, uh, audience, no? the mainstream Canadians, for them to uh, uh, know about Philippine food, uh, Philippine products, and uh, uh, because. Uh, Definitely, you know, we have uh, very good uh, products to offer uh, to the world, you know, and uh, and uh, we are very proud of the Filipino companies stepping up, uh, really coming up with uh, innovative, good products, very healthy ones that is uh, really good uh, for, for the public. Uh, of course, the, the little grocery stores and compared to big supermarkets, they cater to different uh, consumers, you know. And uh, uh, some products definitely are available only in little stores, uh, but not available in, uh, in the big uh, supermarkets. They cater to different uh, uh, consumers, and uh, they, uh, they, uh, probably they sell some uh, similar products, but our little stores, they offer something different. Uh, and, uh, uh, and some, of, some of the products, in fact, that they are selling uh, are being uh, made locally. You know, so uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's it's really you know uh, one way of uh, really s spreading out uh, and uh, diversifying uh, what we can offer to to the public. What is your favorite Filipino food so far? Well, my favorite definitely is is adobo and and uh, kare kare. But of course, we're not we don't have it here. Uh, no? uh, it's it's not there. You know, it's just uh, the the usual merienda. We have pancet, lumpia, and toron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but otherwise, my favorite are yeah, the usual uh, adobo, uh, chicken adobo, and of course kare kare. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm pretty sure that uh, your wife Miriam is uh, is a good cook. Ah, she's an excellent cook. Yes, excellent cook. So, do you cook? No complaint. I do cook. Yeah, okay. yeah, what, what, what do you cook? I, I cook adobo. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, I know how to cook. And uh, uh, I, I cook sinigang, you know. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, and of course, I cook eggs. But, uh, but uh, I can cook adobo and I can cook sinigang. You know? yeah. I, I used to love uh, pork sinigang. Uh, I, I still uh, do love it. But right now, because, you know, uh, I'm getting more uh, conscious about uh, what you eat. So I uh, recently, you know, it's more of uh, fish uh, based uh, sinigang. We do hope to, to do this uh, all across the country and, and more often. Go easy, guys. Huh? Go easy. <laughs> There's great potential for us to do business between British Columbia and the Philippines, in, particularly in agricultural products. I, I think we have a lot of potential to export, but we also, having such a multicultural society, you know, the Filipino community is 150,000 uh, members strong in the Metro Vancouver area. It's these people that could help us to facilitate the two-way trade, particularly in terms of food products. So it's an exciting opportunity. And you're the chef, Sinigang chef. Okay, here is the Sinigang. And what did you put in there? Um, onions, tomatoes, and then later on I'm gonna put in the mix, Sinigang mix. This one. Wait, 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 wait. 
There's water. There's water. And then you put onions. Two liters of water, onions, tomatoes. Onions, tomatoes. Yes, and then we'll put the mix afterwards. That looks familiar. I buy that. You do? Yeah. That's awesome. Tastes the same. You're doing it right. Yes. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the show. Super shout out to our friend Nili Alvero and to Consul General Neil Ferrer. Thanks for watching. Please don't trick and drive, don't text and drive, always be kind. And let's stop bullies. See you next week. Bye bye.